the most powerful galaxy yet. That's what Samsung said to us this morning. They Shouted. put out a little teaser and a little commercial. And then I was on Twitter and people were putting the, I think my old pal Danny was putting the eyeballs, you know, the eyeballs emoji mm-hmm. next to it. And I was like, wait, what? Samsung event? Wait, what? Another what? ultra? I was, like, what? I was like, look at this one right here. You know, what are we talking about most powerful galaxy? It's like, look at this one. It's 21 Ultra. It's got Ultra in the name. Mm-hmm. Can't be doing this. Nothing on the schedule for more powerful galaxy. And then the, here's the here's the thing, though. Well, okay. Samsung, they use the Galaxy branding on more than just the smartphones. True. Everything's in the Galaxy! Hmm. According to Samsung. Mm. And so the most powerful galaxy is obviously a different product segment than smartphones. And they are scheduled or at least on on track here to release some different products that are not smartphones. And so I don't know if this is a confirmation, but uh, here we have some findings that probably was actually going on here is laptops Mm. and not phones at all. And they're using the unpacked branding and they're using the Galaxy name and they're keeping it all ambiguous because they know the smartphones get all the attention and now the laptops can come along for the ride. Yes. With the promotion and the cool little commercial they put together. Unpacked. All that branding. Now, Now, I don't know how exciting this is to people if they feel duped but, uh, yeah, I guess why not? Why mm-hmm. not get people excited? Why not use the brand to benefit the laptops as well? So here's the thing. There were a couple of laptops that came through, what is it, the uh, FCC? No, from a Korean regulator. That's the first spot that they were seen. You have a leaked Galaxy Book Pro and a leaked galaxy book pro 360 presumably this is the one that's gonna flip all the way around two devices expected to feature intel's 11th gen core processors oled displays windows 10 it's gonna be on there actually uh these leaks are in line with renders that evan blast put out he's a leaker you've probably heard of previously ev leaks Mm -hmm. some other specifications here 13 and 15 inch options different colorways you don't hear the colorways terminology with the gadgets as much. No. As with the sneakers. The sneakers, it's all colorway this, colorway that. Yeah. Every time. What's the equivalent for? They just call it colors when it's tight. It's like, what color is it? Okay. Flavors? Cool. Yeah. Be nice if they called it flavors. Well, I guess with sneakers, you have such a, yeah, some pretty complex combinations of colors mm-hmm. where you couldn't just say, oh, wh- which one? Oh, it was the red one. It's like, what do you mean? There's 47 red ones. Right. They're like, no, the colorway. And you're like, oh, oh. the red with the black yeah. with the this and the that. Perfect. So they came up with a terminology. But I agree with you, Will. When you kind of you kind of like winced a little bit when I said the word, I agree with you. Something about that word. There's something wrong with that word. Hmm. It doesn't just roll off the tongue. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's a substitute. Somebody in the comments going to have to come up with it. What's it. What could we use instead of colorway? I mean, why do we have, wait, wait. Uh, it's not even us. Sure. It's the sneaker guys. They love it. So yeah. whatever. Maybe there's an irritated sneaker guy too. Mm. Other specs include DDR4X memory, SSD storage, Intel Iris X graphics, uh, optional NVIDIA discrete graphics, Thunderbolt 4 connectivity. You're a big Thunderbolt guy, Will. Mm-hmm. And you're going to have a variety of traditional ports also in there. Type-C, micro SD, HDMI, USB-A connectivity. It's all the things you want. S Pen uh, Stylus Support, because it's in the Galaxy. Yes. It's part of the Galaxy. Uh, 17 hours of battery life for the book and the Pro model, 20 hours of battery life. I love what's happening to battery life. Yeah. I like some battery life. uh, 
they're getting great. And it's running Windows 10. It's running Windows 10. Cool. So anyway, this could be the most powerful Galaxy ever. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Did even And maybe they'll actually send us these. I don't know, after the unpacked. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll have to check them out. Today's sponsor, Freshly. Get you a nice... I could use one of these right now. Yeah? Yeah, I'm a little irritated. I don't know what it is. Okay. And I need a meal probably out of those ones. I would take the one on the right over there that you're showing me. Is this chicken? I don't know, but it's like... Yeah, it looks healthy. You know? (laughs) It does, yeah. I need something. I need some healthy food, man. Are you lacking? Yeah. Especially today. Yeah. Things didn't go right for me today. Uh, You know, I had plans and... And then next thing you know, you're just not eating, and then you're irritated. Uh huh. And this would have solved my problem completely. L- take a look at this, okay? Here's how it works. You want to eat healthy. You want to eat something nice. You want to get filled up. But same time, you might be short on time. Mm-hmm. And you can't put it together yourself. Here, you choose your meals. Look at that. 30-plus menus, menu items, all natural dishes. Look at some of these examples over here. I mean... And it's springtime chicken. It's ready to go. <laughs> we're talking about we're talking about three minutes. Yeah. Three minutes we're talking about. It shows up in this nice little container. All you gotta do is heat it up and go. It's been prepared by all the top, top tier chefs they got over there. And meanwhile, you're probably not gonna put this together in three in three minutes if you didn't have them giving it to you. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying here? Like, what are you gonna reach for if you only got three minutes? Often that's where you screw up. Yeah. Scroll up a little bit there, Will. We cook and deliver, cooked by chefs, and then sent fresh. You heat them up, ready to eat in three minutes. Eat and repeat. Skip a week or cancel at any time. You pick your favorites, all right? Are you stressed out like me? Are you tired? Or you don't feel like cooking? Food that's fast doesn't have to be fast food. (laughs) Gets me every time. Gets it, gets me every time. Uh, ordering is easy. You just go to Freshly.com. You choose from over 30 delicious, better-for-you meals. Steak, peppercorn, sausage, baked penne, or chicken pesto bowl. Fit it in with your lifestyle. Right now, our listeners can try Freshly for just $6.16 per meal. Stop searching the internet for healthy food near me every single night. Start living life freshly. Always delivered fresh, never frozen. You just heat them up and enjoy. Right now, Freshly is offering our listeners $40 off your first two orders when you go to Freshly.com slash Lulater. Stop stressing out. Go to Freshly.com slash Lulater for $40 off your first two orders. It's Freshly.com slash Lulater. $40 off two orders. Check the description. Sony is, uh, I guess they announced some new phones. We're talking about Xperia 1, 3, Xperia 5, 3. With the first ever variable telephoto camera in a smartphone. So it's the same kind of like periscope situation. Mm. But rather than having separate sensors, the lens actually changes. I believe it's from 70 mil to... Oh, it's in here, I promise. From 70 mil to 105 mil. Mm. Now, Sony, they put out the Pro model Xperia, remember? Which, which was a very premium price tag you could use it as an external monitor Mm -hmm. we had in studios a little more rugged um this one takes some of the features from there as well the ability to take an hdmi input which is another kind of unusual feature in a smartphone space that you can actually have an hdmi input not just an output not a full but just a mini we can get an adapter well oh okay yeah there's adapters out there well (laughs) Just thinking thing. if it's like a full HDMI, would it make the phone kind of thick or no? Yeah, you're not getting a full HDMI. I yeah. mean, you get a lot of laptops, they won't even give you that. Right, yeah. You're asking too much here, Will. I know, I'm demanding. It's not good. Anyway, what's cool about it, the Xperia 1 3 is catering to somebody who wants to have everything in a smartphone and doesn't want the package that's uh, the modern package that has eliminated a lot of ports and things like this. So this model right here is actually going to give you a headphone jack, a micro SD card, no hole punch in a display, and all kinds of manual control. Look at this lens setup with the variable telephone. Look at, ah, come on, man. We're switching lenses in the inside over here. 
Come on, man. Technology. Look at that dog. What kind? What is that? Uh, oh, Afghan hound, something like that. I think it's called. No, I that's see a, it when the dog shows sometimes. You know, that's a cool dog. Look at the way it jumps. It tucks the feet in. You know, very uh, big dog, but agile, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Somebody knows the breed. Okay. Hey, now this is a powerhouse. It's gonna cost you a few dollars. This new phone. Okay. At least the Xperia One Three, Snapdragon Triple A, twelve gigs of RAM. 256 plus micro SD expansion. Oh, how about a 6.5 inch 4K display? Uh, I mean, when are you going to get a 4K OLED on a smartphone? I'm talking like real 4K, 120 hertz, 4,500 milliamp hour battery. Of course, Sony's legendary camera situation, the manual mode, the eye tracking autofocus, all the software from the from the cameras we're shooting the show on. Uh huh. They actually didn't put a price yet, but I'm just telling you it's going to cost you. Yeah. It's not going to be cheap. We're talking flagship level. Now, they got a smaller one, which has most of the same features, a little bit less RAM. That's the 5.3, 6.1 inch and a 10 AP display. So you can pick that one up, hmm. try and save a few bucks. But I love Sony hanging out in here. I love the idea, idea of it. I, I like how they're taking a few different moves. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got this unusual aspect ratio, 21 by 9. They got this easy to hold situation. They're not trying to get super fancy with the screen to body stuff. They're like, yeah, we got a chin and a forehead. So what? That's what we got. They love the fingerprint reader on the uh, button. They're like, yeah, we don't have to put that in this, but put it over there. Yeah. They're like, oh, headphone jack, we're going to keep that too. <laughs> it's very nonchalant. <laughs> that's right. Like, that's yeah, how, we're just going to do that. That's how, that's how it went down, man. Right. The key's going to be priced here if anyone's going to be attracted to it. Hopefully, it can be somewhat affordable, but uh, shout out, Sony. TCL, another company putting out some smartphones. They have uh, shown off a little bit this fold and roll concept, but we have a couple gifts here that uh, fired me right back up. Oh. Nothing gets me going like a good gif. A good flippy, flappy roll? A flippy and a flappy, a flapster. Uh this is a fold and roll. Uh, that sound that sounds kind of like when you have a fire, stop, drop, and roll. It's a fold and roll. Uh huh. In emergency situation. Yeah. You don't you don't, you don't know don't, if you should fold or roll. You do both. You fold yeah, and roll. Just don't drop it. Never drop. Forget the drop part. So this gift here uh, showcases an internal hinge. I mean, imagine, imagine drawing something like this up. Well, I mean, you and I, we come here, we're like, did you put the clips out? Or, yeah. You and I come around here, like, we're stressed out. It's all really hard, you know, we got to do all our stuff. Yeah. And meanwhile, these guys are drawing that up, just casually in office somewhere. They're like, oh, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fold and then roll. Mm -hmm. I mean. And then they actually got to go execute it. They're like, okay, we're going to use this uh, metal component, and hey, that's not strong enough, and let's do that. And oh, 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 and you got a, two months left to show the prototype. Yeah. Or, or you're dead. Yeah, what are we doing here? Like a uh... couple fancy boys. I'll tell you what, couple fancy boys right here. Here we watch the dogs play around over there. Yeah, and we're like, oh, good. Yeah, nice. Couple of fancy boys over here. I'll tell you what, real problem. Yeah. We need to be folding and rolling. The yeah, close up shop. To... <laughs> we gotta research some materials. Material science is what they call it in the biz. Sure. Yeah. So that's the folding mechanism. It's kind of reminiscent of other folding designs that we've seen. So you have the slab style smartphone folds out and the screen gets to one level. So at that point, it's looking a lot like a Galaxy Fold mm -hmm. type of form factor. Granted, it's important to note, this one has the folding outward thing going on from mm -hmm. the, similar to the Huawei products, which who knows if they're going to maintain that. People question durability and stuff when you have all the screen exposed, but that that's not even what matters. What matters is the mechanical aspect once you have it unfolded, and that's going to be available to you, Willie Do at the bottom of this page in, in the next important GIF. Okay. In figure number 7B. Like as if I'm doing a PowerPoint presentation or something. Yeah. You know? So you fold it out, and then you extend it. It's called a fold and roll. Yeah. Uh. And once you do that, you're all the way up to a 10-inch tablet, which is bigger than... What the other guys, the, the puny thing the other guys are doing. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but <laughs> 10 inch tablet. tablet. Yeah. 
Yep, 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 yep. I mean, you got an iPad Pro starting at 11. Yeah. I mean, it's a real, it's a full deal it's tablet. A, it's a honker. Well, I don't know if they're going to market it that way. <laughs> I doubt they will use that terminology. Yeah. But the fold and roll, man. I don't think this is going to be the thing that everyone has in their pocket, but the, the science fiction aspect of it, it just gets me going. The science fi- fiction aspect of it, uh, it just kind of uh, it kind of lights up this part of your brain where you imagine new form factors where yeah. things don't necessarily have to be the way they've always been. Mm-hmm. So, next piece of news. This was a big one. You couldn't stop with all this this morning. You came in here and it was just stock charts flying, crypto talk, and sure. uh, you're like, "Hey, well, you say Lou should be should I get in on this or what?" <laughs> I was like, "What happened to your voice?" <laughs> We say, Lucia, I might have to get in on that one there. It's just been smoking for 50 years <laughs> instantly. Well, you've been looking at all these, all these charts. They're wiping you out. Yeah, well, the, they're very interesting. You're looking at all these charts, and, and you're a shell of the man you used to be. Uh, you know. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to understand it. It's kind of cool. Coinbase. Makes everyone a cryptocurrency investor this morning. Big IPO, record IPO, $100 billion, $100 billion. Mm. Uh, I don't know if it's the valuation is still there because it kind of took a bit of a dip after. But this is the way these things go. The hype train, unbelievable steam. And look, it found a little support over there. This is not financial advice. It, it flattened out there at around $332. 55 cents USD, around 320 bucks. Now, the original estimates were like 250 bucks. It shot all the way up to $424 USD. Willie Do was like, sheesh. And I was like, no, don't worry. You're getting another shot. And so it came down and sitting there. It's big, big news either way. Here's the thing. This is crypto for everyone. This is the traditional financial market uh, shaking hands in a way. With the crypto stuff that was still kind of over in its own thing. This is a way for the average person to invest in crypto without ever touching any crypto. Mm-hmm. Uh, anybody who's into these stock trading apps. Because Coinbase and Coinbase's profits and revenue is derived from transactions and transaction fees which are in relationship to the value of crypto. So crypto big, Coinbase big. Stocks, everyone. It's not financial advice. And a lot of people have been resistant to the steps involved. Coinbase has made it easy to get into crypto. Mm -hmm. But there's something about this that I still think feels better for some investors. They're like, that's a real thing. Look at it. It's on the stock exchange. Yeah, this kind of legitimizes it to a certain extent. Would you look at that, Martha? (laughs) You heard about this here crypto thing? It's on the NASDAQ. <laughs> I mean, that's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like <laughs> around the world right now. It's on the NASDAQ. Exactly. There's a kind of legitim- legitimizing factor to it. Biggest IPO? It's a big deal. Yeah. So, I mean, all kinds of people I was reading about that got into Coinbase early. And look, it's not going to be uh, just smooth sailing. There's going to be ups and downs. You want to know something, Well. I know something? What's that? Stuff goes up, stuff goes down. Oh, okay, yeah. So, just keep that in mind. It's not going to... Nothing is rosy all the time. Sure. It's not going to just be locked at that place. There's still volatility baked in there because there's volatility in crypto. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, it's going to also be in Coinbase. It's not a safe way to avoid that. Uh but it is a type of exposure that's different. And I think all in all, it is a major step Mm -hmm. for crypto in general to have this big time exchange on the exchange. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, Oh, you got personal relationship or what? (laughs) Yeah. You part of the made a quite a few, you part of the seed, you part of the seed round. Oh yeah. Yeah. Early investor. Will you do? I believe Willie Do put three hundred thousand in, uh, and turn it into two point eight billion. Sure, yeah, I'm one of those guys. That was you. Yeah. So congrats, not just to Coinbase. Congrats to Willie Do. No, thanks. It's not financial advice. 
You know how we talk about stories in the past, how somebody would order an iPhone and they would get something rude instead? Mm. Like was, it would, it, was it this time? It, remember it was yogurt? Was yeah. it? It was a yogurt drink. And then you and I got started talking about Yop. And you were like, isn't it Yop? And I was like, I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure it was Yop. And then all of a sudden we go and look at all the commercials. And you're like, damn, it was Yop. Yeah. That's like some yogurt drink from when we were 12 years old. I think they still make it. They still make it? Oh, yeah. yeah, they still make it. It's delicious, by the way. Yeah, they still make it. Hey, what do you get? You get strawberry. What do you get? You get blueberry, vanilla. Coconut. Coconut. Wow, that's innovative. Yeah. Coconut. Yeah, that might, that might be good. Well, because coconut yogurt. Have you ever tried coconut yogurt? I have, yeah. It's good. It's good, yeah. It's a great time. Mm-hmm. So, and since Yop is kind of like that, it's a milky, it's a creamy, milky type of drink. By the way, sold in Belgium, Canada, France, Ireland, Switzerland, the United Kingdom, occasionally in the Netherlands, Portugal, Spain, the United States. So a lot of people don't even know what we're talking about. Yeah. Because they're not, not drinking. It's not global. They're, they're, no, it's not global. That's interesting. Anyway. But I'm sure there's alternatives. Equivalents. Yeah. Anyway, so somebody orders an iPhone, they get a drink like that. I don't remember what it was, it was in China, and it wasn't Yop, but it was a, a similar to Yop yeah. type of drink. There's been other people that were duped. Remember the PlayStations? Some guy's ordering a PlayStation 5, and then all of a sudden it's a cinder block or a Foreman grill? Yeah. Bag of rice. Oh, there's that milky drink right there. There it is. But it's an apple drink. Well, how about, imagine if it could go the other way around. You order a yogurt drink and you get an iPhone. I wish that was the case. That's what's happening right now in the Is UK. Is that true? That's what's happening right now in the UK. Really? That's oh. what's happening right now. Oh, wow. As a quick little promo, you know, a lot of people haven't been able to get to the grocery store. Instead, they're doing like the pickup or they're doing uh, delivery and things like this. People are doing new things because they can't get to the grocery store. Yeah. Well, this uh, company in the UK called Tesco is a big supermarket chain mm. in the UK, maybe the biggest. And so they've been doing surprise substitutions. So this particular guy orders an Apple. And guess what he got instead? He got an iPhone instead. Oh. Are is you're, that the picture? Oh, you're, you're not <laughs> happy that it was an SE? <laughs> no, no. Oh. It's just like. What kind of iPhones? I'm yeah, curious. it looks like an SE. It looks like okay, an SE. Yeah. You can see his groceries in the background. That's good. Hey, man, what are you trying to SE <laughs> shame right now? Jeez, dude. No, I'm not hating. He, he paid for an Apple. He paid for an, uh, an iPhone SE, man. You can't bump it up to a no. 12? Or no, because they're doing a lot of different prizes. It's not just for Apple. Okay, fine. In this case, he gets the... Uh, he gets the iPhone SE because he ordered apples. Some of the other prizes include, uh, let's see over here. Oh, by the way, the promotion is limited to 80 items at six stores, and it's over on April 18th. So, like, people are they're going to see this story, and they're going to go ordering up apples from Tesco because worst case scenario, they get apples. Mm-hmm. Is that just, uh, Delicious. just apples that, they're, that they get? No, 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 no. Oh. Can but they order like a banana and get an iPhone? They can see if a banana has any price associated with it, but each price is associated with an item in the store. Mm. So here's a couple of other uh, of other options. You might get a Samsung Galaxy Tab 7 if you buy laundry tabs. Oh. Tab, you see tab. Yeah. Like the word is, uh. yeah. <laughs> it's what they call cheeky, right? Because it's, it's the cheeky. UK? Yeah. Easy there, Will. <laughs> Another one here. You could get a Nokia 3.4. I guess that's a uh, Nokia smartphone. Okay. If you get if you buy gnocchi, the pasta. Oh. Uh, you could get uh, if you buy a Galaxy milk chocolate bar. You could get a Samsung Galaxy S21. Mm. This is all. Uh, very unlikely, be, by the way, because they have sure. a limited number of prizes, but you can see how they're doing it. I don't know. Maybe people haven't even figured everything out. Maybe you order something yeah. else and you're like, whoa, look at that. That's I, fun. You ever had a Galaxy milk chocolate? I don't think I have. Oh, my goodness gracious. Is this in Canada? You can find it. You can find it. You can get it off Amazon right there. I ordered a case of this recently. 
No. Oh, yeah. Just a case of it. <laughs> you think I'm joking right now? Dude, I ordered cases. What? I ordered cases at. Of this? Of Why that? can't you get a variety pack? Don't you get sick of this? What are you talking about get sick of this? That's smooth milk right there. <laughs> okay, why did you bring some in the office? Let me tell you something, Will. I didn't get any. Let me tell you something. You drink coffee, right? Yeah. Here's what you do. I don't really sweeten up my coffee, okay? Okay. I drink it pretty close to stock. Sure. As far as the coffee's concerned. I like to taste the coffee. Yeah. I can't eat. I don't want to, I wouldn't want to hurt the coffee. That's a famous line, by the way. That's an, that's a, that's a, do you know that line? No, it's a meme and we don't have to go down this whole thing, but I wouldn't want to hurt the coffee. Right. You can look it up if you want. Okay. No, you don't know. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. I'm saying the people can, because we got to stay on track. By talking about galaxy chocolate bars? Absolutely. Okay. You make a hot coffee. Yeah. You don't do too much to it. Yeah. You take a galaxy chocolate bar, yeah. smooth milk. Okay. You break one piece. You take that one piece, you place it softly, gently into your mouth. One piece. You proceed to drinking your hot coffee. As the coffee interacts with the smooth milk galaxy chocolate, it begins to melt in mm -hmm. your mouth rapidly. The combination of flavors is unlike anything you've ever experienced. That's a recommendation right there. Okay. Can I make a recommendation as well? Uh, you should try uh, Tim Tam's. Tim Tam Slam. You give it a shot. Australians would know. Are you going to elaborate or are you going to leave it there? <laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> um, they're like these chocolate wafers. Let me see if I had this. And what you do is uh, you eat the corners and then you use it as a straw and put it in your coffee. Oh, because there's air in there? It can get through? The liquid yeah. can come up? You suck it a little bit and then you put the whole thing immediately in your mouth. And it's soaked it's, in coffee. Yeah, and, and it just melts. It's like a coffee crisp. Yes. At that point, but with real coffee. It's amazing. So I'll try the galaxy. Welcome to coffee. Well, you, welcome to coffee talk. You do the. Tim welcome Tam to slam. coffee talk 2021. Yeah. The number world's number one show. Go for it. It's great. Amazon put out some new Echo Buds. Uh, they're here to take on AirPods. Okay. They're here to destroy Air Apple's dominance. And they look a lot like AirPods. Actually, the container looks almost exactly like an AirPods. You can imagine if the lid was closed. Hmm. The buds themselves are slightly different shape. Actually, I kind of don't. I kind of like the shape. There's a logo on there. It's subtle though. The arrow, yeah. It's subtle. Yeah, they got the Amazon logo subtle on there. But they come in white now, of course, as you would, trying to sell any bud, any pod. Um, but they're circular. They there's no stem which is kind of nice, and it's an in-ear design with interchangeable ear tips. Well, it's not here. Mm, much like the AirPods Pro, the Echo Buds now feature a vented design to reduce ear pressure. You get that pressure build up in there. You get that fatigue setting in. Mm. I, don't tr I don't wear these for super long periods of time like I used to if I was traveling or something, so I don't, but I know exactly what they're talking about with the ear pressure. Unlike AirPods, you can get these in black, mm. which... Uh, if you want to do that with AirPods, you got to send them to like Colorware and spend a bunch of money. Right. And you remember we had the ones painted in black? Mm -hmm. Where's this dog? This dog right here, that dog right there, decided that those AirPods look delicious. Uh-oh. The, the black one customized. I was using that. Just chomped on it. And one of them, I don't know how, one of them ended up on the floor. I'm like, what are you chewing on? I'm like, oh, awesome. That's what you're doing. Uh, don't you know I have don't you know I'm irritated already? Yeah. Don't you know I didn't have any freshly to eat? Mm. Now you want to chew the AirPod as well? I see a big giant tooth dent. Oh. Cause because you know, we all know let me tell you. 
I pick it up and I'm just like rotating it slowly. It's like a movie scene. Oh. And I'm like, look at that. It's fine. She didn't even do it. And I get to the I, reveal. And I get yeah. right to that moment and I see an enormous tooth dent and a breakage of the plastic material. Oh. Rest in peace. And then and then she's down there just <laughs> yeah. you know, doing dog things. Yeah. Like, what's the big deal? Mm -hmm. I mean, I chew on everything. It's a big deal. Noise cancellation is said to be twice as good as on a previous model of Buds. And they now also feature an AirPods Pro style sound pass through mode, which is huge for me. Like a transparency style mode. Microphones feed into your ears. You, you can hear your surroundings. Mm -hmm. Certain environments, this is a must. Yes, absolutely. They Price. say also the microphones are improved for better call quality. And Willie do wants to jump all the way to the price. <laughs> Well, that's surprising. Well, not really surprising, but it's actually a great price. One nineteen. Yeah. USB C charge case or one thirty nine with the wireless charge case. That is a lot less than AirPods Pro. But can they stand up from a performance standpoint? You want to know how you find out? You listen to them, mm -hmm. as I intend to do. Durability test. Give it to Pepper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she'll, I mean, she can destroy anything. Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah. You saw with Otis. I mean, o Otis has chewed through how many uh, leashes at this point? I don't know. At least three, four? Super touchy subject around here, yeah. by the way. My he, goodness. He loves leashes. Yeah. Uh, he, he would be, he would chew a leash during the show, and afterwards, would you would be like, <laughs> another leash! Gone. Yeah. Well, I I brought him the chain leash, so he won't chew on. And then one time, and then and then what Will makes him do is walk around the office with the remaining portion of the leash. Yes, like a tie. Yeah, <laughs> sitting in front, and he, he everyone's like, "Why does he have that on?" He's like, "Because he chewed the leash." He knows. He knows. <laughs> yeah. So good times around here. Hilarious fashion. Good times around here. Yeah, you might start a trend. You never know, Will. Doggy ties? Oh, that's probably a oh, thing. Oh, yeah. That's, you know, that's actually pretty smart. <laughs> it, but, it, but it probably is already a thing. I mean, they thought of this before. People are doing all the, oh, I like how you, you wrote doogie ties. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bow tie. Doogie ties. Yeah, look at this. Doggy ties. Yeah, of course you got that oh, out there. Of course. Yeah, man. But who knows? You could blow it up. Sure. Instagram is still trying to figure out what to do with likes on a website, on a social media application. Hmm. They were goofing around. They're like, what if we get rid of likes? Are people happier? Do people use the app more? They're like, okay, hmm. What if we just what if we just selectively get rid of likes? What's gonna happen? Like, what if some people have likes and other people don't have likes? What if it's dynamic? They don't know what to do. When they took away likes, people got mad. They're like, where's the likes? And then other people, I'm sure, enjoyed it. They're like, oh, why is it so fresh around here? Uh. Why do I feel better than I normally do? What is this nice breeze coming in? It's like, oh, because you weren't sitting there staring at your lack of likes. Your, whatever your like expectation was. Anyway, now they're taking it a step further. And I want, to, I want you to tell me what you think about this, all right? <laughs> The app will give users the ability to choose which likes they want to hide. They'll have the option to hide like counts from their own posts so followers won't see them or to hide like counts on posts from everyone else, effectively stri stripping the like counts out of the feed entirely. Users will also have the option to keep likes appearing normally, an option that could be a response to widespread criticism of uh, the feature being turned off. Go ahead, Will. The floor is yours. Oh, um, I would go with uh, what they originally had. Just have everyone look at the likes. Oh, all likes. Never mind turning them up. Not even an option to turn it up. What if a person is no. depressed? They're all, they're, 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 it's too much. They, 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 they're they constantly obsessing over these likes. Um, I guess for Instagram, that wouldn't be good. But as a user... Uh, they just have to figure it out themselves. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. You don't know what type of complaints 
company like Instagram, Facebook, sure, they see. They're getting the concerned parents. They're like, you know, my kid is, it can't handle it. And they're really having a hard time of it. And, and, and the stories get worse and I'm not going to go there. Sure. Yeah. And Instagram I, I hear, yeah. sitting there saying, well, isn't there anything we can do to try to make it a little bit more friendly around here or whatever? And I'm not saying that's right. Like we we talk about the dislike button on, on YouTube and we both agree that like, maybe you can diminish the importance of it, but you yeah. got to have it in some way. Yeah. Uh, other you social. Can't, you can't put that in Instagram, right? A dislike button. Oh my God. Yeah, it's too much. If they're thinking already about hiding likes because they've seen some sort of an effect and an uh, un unsavory effect, yeah, uh, they're definitely not talking thinking about introducing the dislike, which is even more major. Yeah, I I think I think they got to go with some sort of a some sort of a custom version of it. They can bury maybe the ability to turn it off somewhere in the settings, so a person who really just doesn't like to see it can do that, okay. and then just have it on by default. Yeah. Who, who knows? Maybe some people will use it. It's just, I'm more about the discretion, like use your own discretion. Right. If you're using the app, just got to be careful. Yeah. If, it, if it's but having not everyone an, is like that. If it's having a yeah. negative effect on your psyche, like put probably better to put it, put down, it down than but to some hide people the can't. Well, and sure. And Instagram's yeah. not going to tell you to put it down. Yeah. Certainly not for too long. They, they want something other than putting it down. They're like, wait, how can we just make it? And look, they're leaning on these algorithms. They're going to try to feed you things that keep you there. Sure. And and hopefully don't uh, cause you distress long term, but is a is a complicated subject, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah. Here's a cool one. How about a pair of headphones, wireless headphones that can play forever because they charge from the sun hmm. or any available light, not just the sun. Mm -hmm. Kind of like those old why are you not, What? What? You should be more. You're not impressed by this at all. Uh, no, I I like the idea. Is it strong enough? Does it have a noise canceling? <laughs> that sucks a lot of juice. Yeah, it has active noise canceling. Does it really? Yeah, it does. Oh, okay, well that's impressive. You should have led with that. I was just happy to have <laughs> a solar powered pair of headphones. I didn't even need active noise canceling. I was happy to see it. Yeah, it's a great idea. That's for sure. Audio brand Urbanista is looking to bring an end to the problem of wireless active noise cancel cancellation headphones running out of power. The company claims the power foil solar cell material used on the new Los Angeles model headphones can charge the battery with any kind of light, not just solar, providing virtually infinite playtime. Here's the spec. This is the key specification, and this is where you can judge the product and tell me if it's useful or not. But I, first of all, gadgets getting power from the sun, it turns me on anyway. Just, yeah. just like I remember when I first saw the keyboard that Logitech put out with the solar cells, huh. and I was like, oh, man, reminds me of the calculators. For I grew up with the calculator from the sun. <laughs> There's something cool about it. No, it's very, it's, it's very cool. Um, this is the one, right? Yeah, I've had uh, a couple different versions of this over the years. It just it just always has power. You never have to recharge it. Now, I know this isn't feasible for a lot of product categories because of the amount of power consumption. Headphones well, seems interesting to me. I'm I'm only skeptical because why haven't they done it yet? It's such an old cuz they didn't type. have they didn't have the capability inside of the cell, the solar cell. So it actually is a new technology, this, uh, what is it, power foil. Okay. That they're able to get this level of efficiency for it to make sense. Now, I'm skeptical. I'll give you my skepticism, heat. Because already, if you're wearing a black headband in the sun, it can get pretty hot mm. on its own. Now you got the solar panel up there. That <laughs> baby's going to be cooking. So that's a consideration that I have. Anyway, here's the claim, the key claim. If you're outside for an hour, when the sun is shining, the solar cell tech will add three hours of listening time. Mm. One hour outside, three hours of listening time. Even if it's nice. a cloudy day, you'll get an extra two hours of additional battery for each hour that you spend out there. And also ambient light will help you top it up if you just keep the headset near a window. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's good. Those are pretty, pretty good... Uh 
stats, and it looks like a regular headphone. So do I have you on board as an early seed round investor, yes or no? Yes, I'll put 100K. You're in. You're in. Wow. Lovely. And, and you were right. Why hasn't anyone done it? Great question. JBL was going to do it. Then COVID hit, and they canceled their crowdfunding project. They were going to do it in 2019. Oh. And, of course, Willie Do wants to get to the brass tax. He's looking for the price. It's going to start around 200 bucks. That's worth it. <laughs> You know how the boring company was taking heat out there in Vegas because it's hot? No. From social media. Stop it. Social media, they were taking heat because people were like, oh, you're supposed to be so cool. You're supposed to be so Elon. You're supposed to be so space. X. And then you come to Vegas and you put a tunnel with some Teslas in it. Lame, lame, idiot, loser, lame. Well, the internet loves shouting lame at people, things. Yeah. They like to scoff. I looked at it and I was like, man, tunnels are cool. Sure. I don't know if it's cost-wise, how cost-effective it's going to be. I started to wonder, man, digging tunnels is hard and is it all going to be worthwhile? Like I had that skepticism, but ultimately anybody trying to improve anything, even if it, in this case, he gets a giant billboard out of it, I was curious to, to look a little deeper. And then you see this today where the pricing comes out. And it turns out that maybe it shouldn't be so scoffed at because it looks like, at least initially, it's going to beat the variety of other transportation options for cost. Okay. So right now, it's a really basic loop, a, a really basic uh, trip. It'll get you to the convention center and down the strip. But it's it, eventually, it's going to get more comprehensive in and around each of these hotels and things. Mm -hmm. And the map here showcases active... Uh, projects proposed uh, additional aspects but anyway for the time being we have some cost estimates if you were to for example go from the airport to the Las Vegas Convention Center which is just under 5 miles hmm. it's around a 5 minute trip and it will cost 10 bucks Okay. N now what's important here is that that's quite a bit less than uh, the other ride services, Lyft and Uber. Okay. So apparently as of April 13, Lyft charges $14.19 for that route. So oh. it's quite a bit less, right? 10 versus 15. Yeah. It's quite a bit less. And now I don't know how people are going to take to the tunnel idea, but presumably it, might, it will be a little bit faster because you have no stoplights or mm. congestion or anything like that. So... Mm -hmm. Cheaper and faster. They say that that travel time is five minutes. And I think it it should be fairly consistent. Because what's going to yeah. happen? I mean, I, I, I guess you can always have problems in tunnels. Just ask the subway system. Yep. But it should be a little less variable than above ground in most cases. Uh, some other examples, you can go to the Allegiant Stadium from the convention center for six bucks. That's a four-minute trip. Or downtown Las Vegas from the convention center for five bucks. That's a three minute trip. Cool, nice. Uh, and also what we've seen so far is just Tesla vehicles inside the tunnel. Mm. But they're saying now that that was never really the long-term plan. That's just to get it going. Eventually it will be some type of futuristic 16 passenger vehicle, which should bring down that cost. I mean, you can imagine. Right, the Subs shuttle will make more sense. Substantially less if you're to distribute that across a number of passengers. Yep. So hey, cool. maybe, maybe give it a shot. I don't know. Or keep scoffing, whatever you want to do. Well, yeah, those convention, like CES, that'll be so useful. Unfortunately, like not hosting it, but hopefully soon next year. Yeah, eventually. And then they'll find great use for it. Eventually. Yeah. Get some use out of it. This guy, Ludwig Agrin has broken the Twitch subscription record after a 31-day stint. Uh, previously held by Ninja, well-known Twitch streamer. Uh, this guy has been streaming nonstop for 31 days, and he's broken the website's record for having the most paying subscribers. So it was a subathon, and everybody who subscribed added another 10 minutes to his stream. Mm. And so you can see how that can roll out of control and uh, eventually leading up to 31 consecutive days of streaming. That is a 
the peak, I guess, was 282,847. Actually, no, that number is still climbing. The previous record set by Ninja in 2018. Man, all the way back in 2018? That was the Fortnite Drake stuff, 2018? Yeah. Ow! Felt so long ago. Anyway, his number was 20, 269,154 subscribers. Um, Ninja tweeted out congratulations to Ludwig, which is cool. A heck of a record, no doubt about that. Third place is way behind at 114,000. These are paying subscribers. Well, mm. you know how that stuff works on Twitch. Yeah. So that's that's Congrats, no man. no small feat to uh, get people going on that and turn it into a challenge over here. There are three different tiers of subscriptions, so nobody knows exactly what this means revenue wise mm. for for Ludwig, but. Uh, He's obviously very, very happy about this, I presume. And on his final day of streaming, he actually donated $5 from every new subscription to charity. Mm. So that could be a couple of bucks too. But he's definitely, uh, he's got a few bucks now. He was yeah. joking around saying he's swimming in cash. I, I presume that's the case. That's a lot of paid subscribers will he do. Yeah, man, streaming for a month? What would you be doing? It's kind of terrifying. Yeah. No, I agree. It's kind of terrifying, but he can he can take all the cash he's swimming in now and uh, head over to that Coinbase IPO. What do you say? Yeah. 